previously in our last episode. I'm right on top of that, Rose. And just ahead. You need to shave, my friend. I'm a man. OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience. Of two cats. G here from OG Creations. June is Pride Month, and here at OGC, we have been celebrating all month long. OGC is a safe space where you can express yourself how you see yourself. I am always excited to create a custom order that embodies how you want the world to see you. If there's ever a time that you feel like you need someone to talk to, this life coach is just a DM away. The world definitely needs more kindness in it. And here, you have my love and admiration for presenting exactly how you were born to be. We're gonna jump directly into the tutorial part of this week's video. Why are you fucking with me? I know, I know. Wigwags are tedious little bitches and have multiple steps to them. I wanna slow everything down so you can have an actual I did this. versus How did you do that? A few weeks ago, I was filming some content for a wigwag shirt using multiple shades of blue and purple. In the hour or two that I was sitting there slowly applying the dyes, I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to do this using the rainbow? Which leads us to today. I'm starting with a white 100% cotton Hanes BVT that has been soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then ran through the spin cycle Give me every inch you got for this wet ass pussy. and then set aside until it was practically dry. Using the hems of the sleeve, I turn the shirt inside out and I start smoothing out all the wrinkles. Wrinkled, wrinkled little star. With the smooth... You need to shave, my friend. I'm a man. ...shirt in front of me, I start to draw my half-circle guidelines. I'm going old school. I tie a string to my washable marker. I hold the string where I want the center point of the wig bag to be, and I start to draw my half circles. Now these lines are just here to help you while you're pleating the shirt. They don't have to be measured, and they don't have to be a certain distance apart. Start pleating up your shirt using these guidelines. Your goal is to create solid lines as you work your way around. Now secure this with a rubber band and do it for all the lines that you have drawn. Life got a little busy for me on this one, so I set aside for a couple of days before I was able to continue. During that time, I decided that I was going to use my rubber bands as measurement guides. I added a number of additional rubber bands, each one inch apart. With a ruler, I draw lines that are going to represent my wigwag.
I indicate where the points are so when I flip the shirt over, I can match the lines again. Before I start applying the dyes, I place the shirt on an old shower curtain that I no longer use. I use dye racks for most of my items, but there are times that the liquid dyes drip down the wire and bleed into the fabric. Since I want the lines to be super crisp on this one, a towel or some shitty piece of fabric will be best. Oh, yeah. Wigwags are beautiful, but you have to be a little smart with the colors that you use and how they blend with one another. I start by applying Imperial Purple as my main wig wag line. Knowing that you could be left with olive brown if purple and orange or yellow touch, I wanted a red based purple to cut down on that chance. I then work on my warm side, applying Fire Red Orange Crush, and Golden Yellow. I also had to consider what that red based purple was going to do to my cool side. I decided that I would use a blue based violet, so the red and blue would almost create a third purple shade for the transition. I apply blue violet, Houdini blue, and new emerald green. When applying all of my colors, I also wanted to go relatively light with them and not completely saturate the shirt. I do want to leave some of that white fabric to act as an additional border or barrier for the colors. It should help cut down on those brown chances and should add some fun lightness to the shirt. Once I was done with the front side of the shirt, I set it aside for about four to five hours before I returned to it. I flipped it over and applied my dyes to the back of the shirt, making sure that the warm and cool colors match on both sides.
Once it was fully dyed, I left the shirt to process in a 70 degree space for 48 hours. I rinsed it all in cold water and then slowly increased the temperature to hot to ensure that all the soda ash had been removed. It was then ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into an inventory, I added it to my Etsy store ready to purchase. You can get this and all my other pride themed items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. so excited with how this one turned out. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or you just want to leave a comment, make sure to do so in the section below. I am still trying to figure out how to grow this channel with such a temperamental algorithm that keeps me hidden from new viewers. So please help me out by liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, and possibly checking out a few of my other videos. Thank you again. I'm so grateful for you all. I hope you have a happy and safe pride. See you next time.